Hello students, in this video we'll use the intermediate value property to prove that a function has a fixed point. Let's suppose that f is a function that maps the closed interval 0, 1 into the closed interval 0, 1 is a continuous function Let's prove that f has a fixed point So what is a fixed point? A fixed point is a point x such that f of x is equal to x. So in other words, a fixed point is a point where the function intersects the identity function, y equals x. Okay, so that's what a fixed point is. Good? Okay, so let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to introduce an auxiliary function as we typically do for the intermediate value theorem. So here's the proof. We consider g of x, which is f of x minus x. And of course, note that g is the difference of two continuous functions. So here g is continuous. So note g is continuous on the closed interval 0, 1. Okay. Now let's examine g at the endpoints. So what can I say about g of 0, for example? g of 0 is f of 0 minus 0. Now f maps 0, 1 into 0, 1. So this is greater than or equal to 0. Now, the first case is that if g of 0 was, if this was actually equal to 0, we'd be done because that would say that f of 0 is equal to 0. So that's one case. So if g of 0 is equal to 0, that would be what I'm done. If g of 0 equals 0, we're done. Because that would say that what? That would say that f of 0, f of zero is equal to 0. Okay? Now, let's look at g of 1. What's g of 1 going to be? g of 1 is going to be f of 1 minus 1. Now, f of 1 is in the in interval 0 to 1. So something in the interval 0 to 1 minus 1 is less than or equal to 0. Okay? If g of 1 is equal to 0, then what will that say? We are done. That would say what? That would say that f of 1 is equal to 1. That would be a fixed point. Then it will be a fixed point. Okay? So, in other words, in either of these cases, if g of 0 is equal to, if g of 0 or g of 1 is equal to 0, we're done. So let's assume that we're in the final case. What's the final case here? The final case is that g of 0 is what? Is strictly bigger than 0, and g of 1 is strictly less than 0. That's the only case we don't know how to handle. Now, both of those things are true simultaneously. Well, if this is the case, the intermediate value property tells us that g of c is equal to 0 for some c in the interval 0, 1, open. And for that value, what would that say? That would say that f of c minus c is equal to 0, and that would say that f of c is equal to c, and that would be our fixed point. So in the first case, g of 0 is equal to 0, and we're done. In the second case, g of 1 is equal to 0, and we're done. In the final case, uh, g of 0 is strictly greater than 0, and g of 1 is strictly less than 0. In that case, we're still done because the intermediate value property gives us a point c in between 0 and 1, where f of c is equal to c. Thank you very much.